Hi there. Thanks for tuning in. You're watching The Headless Chef on Channel 19. Today we're making bulletproof coffee. So we're just starting up here. What we're going to do right now, I'm gonna show you the whole process. Basically, basically it's easy as A, B, C. A is a secret right now. B is butter. And C is coffee. It's as easy as A, B, C. What's the A for you, you ask? Well, you're gonna find out here in a minute. But these are the two main ingredients other than this mystery bottle right here. This is the A. This is brain octane oil. And we call it the A because it has two A's in there and it sounds like A. Brain, octane. Alrighty, it's as easy as ABC. Brain, octane, butter, and coffee. So the first thing we have to do is make our coffee. We have to start that going so we can add that into the blender with the other ingredients because we're gonna put all, the, all those in the blender and we're gonna mix them up. So I'll go like this here. One liter, I'm actually making a two to three day supply of Bulletproof coffee. I only make it tw a couple times a week, maybe three times at the most. Um, so let's go ahead and get this water boiling here. Alrighty. So let's talk about the Bulletproof Brain Octane Oil. This is uh, made from coconuts. It's 100% a specific type of acid, uh, caprylic acid triglycerides. It's sort of like an MCT oil, um, but it's, this one's this super high refined. Think of it like when you go to the gas station, they've got your, your 88 octane and your 93 octane. This is the highest one you can get. Uh, Bulletproof also makes another one. They make it the 88 octane version it's called XCT oil, so you can use that one as well. Or you can try it with any MCT oil, but I would recommend you getting at least brain octane oil at least one time just to try it because you might really like it. Also, the Bulletproof coffee is supposed to be cleaner than regular coffee. They do special processes to check for micro mycotoxins and stuff like that. Um, so we already have, uh, this other one open over here, it's the same thing. So I'm just going to use that one and I have a butter open as well. I keep my coffee in this little thing over here actually. So let's go ahead and start the other part of this process here. This is the coffee maker. This is called the French press. If you've ever used one of these before, they're pretty cool. It's got this little filter thing on the bottom with a metal screen in there. Um, so it's three pieces. You have to unscrew this little thing when you want to put it in the dishwasher. Well, you wash it like once a week. So yeah, we're gonna measure out our coffee and put it in the French press. Um, figured out my coffee so far I use a shot glass basically to fill this up so I'm gonna kind of check just so you can tell 
one tablespoon. Two tablespoons. It's almost full, so I like to get this where it's right about full. So for me, that's about two and a half tablespoons to make this whole liter of coffee. Some people like it stronger. If you like it stronger, you're gonna have to experiment. By the way, you can go to Whole Foods and in the coffee bar, they can make you bulletproof coffee there. It won't be the bulletproof coffee brand, but they have, they have, uh, I believe it's the grass-fed butter. This is the kind you want to use. You want to use grass-fed butter. It's better for your brain. It's got more, more things in there that are good for you. Healthier butter. You don't want to just throw some random margin, margarine or some kind of low-grade butter. If you can, get this Kerrygold butter. And also the silver butter versus this is the gold one. It has no salt in there. Um, so you can do it either way. And I actually like to add a little bit of salt in my Bulletproof coffee for flavor too. But these are the two main ingredients. This is the butter and the brain octane oil. A, B, C. Okay, we have our coffee in there now. And you want your water to be just off a of boil. So, we're not gonna let it get to where it's fully boiling. We're gonna get it to a partial boil. Rather than, rather than take it to a full boil and let it cool, I'm just gonna get it to a partial boil. So the first thing we're gonna do is pour the water in here and let it sit for a few minutes. Usually about four minutes you want it to sit to get it uh, stirred a couple times before you press it down with the French press. Okay, we're about ready on the water. So that's probably hot enough. So now, this one liter should fill this thing all the way to the top. You can check Amazon for the French press. This one's... Uh, I like this one pretty good, really good. It's called uh, Secura, S-E-C-U-R-A. So I use these little wooden stir sticks and uh, just give it a couple stirs. Bulletproof, make, they make several different flavors on their coffee. This is the original. Um, and then they got a couple other types you can try. Um, some French variety and another one so they, you can try I, I like I just like the standard one original it's pretty good all right so we're stirring our coffee here it's almost ready so now we're gonna start the ABC portion of the show now that the C is almost ready give it a couple more minutes so we're gonna put some B in here some butter oh by the way if you'd rather use ghee instead of butter, I do that quite often as well. You can do it either way. Ghee is a little easier to digest for some people. Keep in mind this is a two day supply of coffee, two to three days, so um, I'm gonna put a pretty good chunk of butter in here, probably two tablespoons. Give it a little pre-cut so when the hot coffee goes in there it'll be easier to melt and of course I wash my hands ahead of time so there's the butter and then as far as the brain octane I usually use I don't know if you see the A's are highlighted in here with the yellow highlighter, Brain Octane for A.
for two days supply, I usually use about, I usually make, use about two tablespoons per day of the, of the brain arc. So I put about three tablespoons in here for two days. And then um, I might have a little bit of extra during the day if I need, if I feel like I want some more brain octane. By the way, the brain octane is not super affordable. Um, it's, it's, I would say it's a very good value overall in terms of what you get. But uh, to be prepared for a little sticker shock when you go check the brain octane oil prices. You can try, you can try a cheaper MCT oil and it'll, it'll probably help. But I would definitely recommend to at least go to Whole Foods one time and ask for a Bulletproof Coffee there because they'll use the real Brain Octane oil. And you can see how you like it there. Okay, so that's it so far. We've got our B and our C in here. No, we've got our A and our B in here. The Brain Octane and the butter. And it's been a few minutes here on the coffee. We're gonna go ahead and call this good. Give it another minute. And while we're talking about the Bulletproof stuff, they also make a really nice collagen protein that I like. You can get this in unflavored or chocolate. Chocolate I put in my smoothies, and the unflavored one you can put in your regular food. Uh, whatever, breakfast bowls and stuff like that. Just add a, a scoop of that. So here's the chocolate one. Check the Bulletproof website. They've got a whole bunch of really good stuff you can try. Experiment with. Okay, that's about it on the coffee. I think it's ready. It's got a nice foam on the top here. So now we take our French press. And this is gonna complete our one liter of coffee. Now what I do, I only, I pour maybe half of it in here so I can mix up the butter and the brain octane in the blender for about 30 seconds. And then, I just rinse this out with the rest of the coffee while I fill up uh, my two coffee containers here. Okay, so we're gonna put this on. It's gonna be, get a little noisy here, so you might wanna plug your ears here for about 30 seconds. stickers too. So we're actually going to call that good enough uh, since I pulled the cable out of the wall. So yeah, should probably go a little longer than that. Get it nice and mixed up. putting up with the noise there. So what I do now is I just divide this between my two containers. Because you want to get the equal fat for both days. There. 
So that's half and half. And now there's still some butter and green octane in here. So I just rinse out the blender a little bit like this. Pour the rest of it in here. Yeah, so this is going to taste a little bit plain. But like I said, you can add other stuff in there too. I like to add a little bit of salt in mine uh, when I blend it. You could try uh, other ingredients. What other ingredients do you like to try in your coffees? Please leave some comments down below on that. Um, so here we go. So the rest I'll just pour in this mug right here. So let's say this will be my today one. So I'll pour a little bit out of there, kind of get some of the brain octane and butter in my first cup of coffee. We save these for later. Put this one in the fridge for tomorrow. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see, what else uh, you want to talk about here? That's about it. Um, anyway, that was our little tutorial on how to make bulletproof coffee. It's, a, it's as easy as ABC. Brain, octane, butter, and coffee. It's as easy as ABC. I hope you liked the video. If so, touch the like button. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, yeah, and add some comments. What's your favorite food? Where are you from? Where are you located? What, what kind of food do they eat in your area? Also, I have an email address if you want to send me any pictures of your food um, or any of your favorite recipes we can share on the channel. My email is headlesschef19 at gmail.com. That's headlesschef19 at gmail.com. And Dave Asprey, who's the leader of Bulletproof, if you're, uh, if you're watching, go ahead and please subscribe, Dave. Dave, uh, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Um, that's about it. You're probably wondering, hey, how can I support the Headless Chef on Channel 19? You could maybe make a t-shirt logo. Submit your t-shirt logo for the Headless Chef 19. Go ahead and email it in. Or you can make a baseball hat logo. And uh, we'll have a little, maybe for the next month or so, we'll collect logos and then we'll make a decision on a logo for, for a baseball hat or something. Alrighty. That's about it. You could also share this video with your friends on Facebook. That would be awesome. Thanks for the support. This is the Headless Chef on Channel 19. Signing out. Thank you. Beep.